Okay, this problem is depicting what we might call an annuity because we're making regular deposits, $400 every month, into an account with an, a given interest rate and compounded on a standard uh, interval, monthly in this case. And so we want to know how much you'll have in the account in 15 years. And here's the annuity formula where PMT is the amount that you put in uh, each time. And the rest of this, well, R is the interest rate as a decimal. N is the uh, frequency of compounding. And, well, let's, if we plug in the numbers, there's the payment per, per month, point plus 1 plus point zero 0.06 divided by 12. And this is 12 times 15 here in the exponent. Minus 1 over 0 0.06 divided by 12. And it looks like we get $160,300. The answer per day. I'll just put 116,327, 48. Okay. Now. How much total money will you put into the account? Well, every month you're putting in $400 for 12 years. So 12 payments per year for 15 years. And there we go. Looks like you will have deposited $72,000. And if we subtract that from the amount that's in the account, you'll have your interest. Okay. Now the question said to use your, or told you to use your TVM solver. So see, I have a TI-83 simulator here. Uh, you might have a TI-84 or similar. But to get to the TVM solver, you click apps, enter because you're in finance. There's the TVM solver. N is the number of payments. Well, that's 12 months times 15 years. That'll be 180 payments. The interest rate is six. You don't have to put a decimal on the TVM solver. The present value of the account, well, you're not putting in the initial deposit. Payment is 400. Try to think of it this way. Any money out of your pocket is negative. So we'll say it's a negative 400. And we want to know the future value in 15 years, but we've got to put the compounding interval or payments per year is 12. 12. Position on future value and click alpha enter. You have to be positioned on the um, value that you want the calculator to calculate. So there you go, $116,327. And in this case, it looks like 485. You might round that up to 49. But at board one, you see that it really rounds out to 48. OK, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment. Um.